Welcome to another episode of Songs We Listen To. And today's song that I listen to is Beba Doobie's Worth It. And uh, this song came on her uh, album that just dropped earlier this year. And Will, can you actually put the uh, the artwork right? The art. Thanks, man. Looks great. Um, yeah, this song is is to me everything that a pop rock song should be. Uh, it's got a, a infectiously catchy chorus. Um, I love the way that the the two motifs work off of each other in the chorus. Um, the drums in the intro really, really um, set the tone for the song early on. Going back to the chorus, lyrics that I love, uh, one in particular is I don't think that we can be friends because you're too pretty, which is a beautifully raw line. Uh, it, it's poetic, but it's not overly wordy, which I love. And it, 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 it's, um, it reflects a lot of what I've been experiencing since moving out here, um, there's a, there's a lot of that sentiment, and there's something that that pulled me towards this song before I knew what any of the lyrics were. But I'm sure you can relate. It's one of those songs that y you love the 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 music, you're dancing to it, and then once you go back and and you read the lyrics, it's like, wow, this artist wrote about my life, and uh, it's it's the the perfect timing. Um, and the perfect, uh, the perfect way to fall in love with a song, I think, is, is music first and lyrics second. And then when it all comes together and it all falls into place with what you're going through in life, that is perfection. This song encapsulates that feeling that you go for when you want to find a, a, a poem that you relate to that may not be the happiest feeling in the world, but the music offsets that and you can dance to it and you can, it sounds happy and it sounds excited and, and, um, and forward moving from an emotional standpoint. But then you look at the lyrics and you go, ah, that's kind of depressing, you know, uh, and, and growing up on pop punk, you know, I've always loved that. So it's a, it's a continuation of something that I've always loved, but in a, in a new arena, and I love that. Biba Doobie is an artist and a musical style that I've been finding myself more and more attracted to as I dive deeper into it, and it's really um, driving the direction of my songwriting in a way that is, you know, the things that I've been doing lately are very much things that our followers and listeners are familiar with, but I'm just adding this to the mix. Yeah, this, this is not a, a departure from what we've been doing, it's just a new flavor. Uh, but yeah, back to Beba Doobie, a great album, one of my favorites of this year. Definitely give it a listen, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching another episode of Songs We Listen To with Keeper. We've got songs you can listen to here, and a channel you can subscribe to here for more videos like this. We do them three times a week, and we'll have more content coming your way. So stick around with us, and we'll see you next time.